Hello and welcome to another episode of the Learning Curve podcast. Today is we are going to do an exploratory podcast where we'll talk about different things and we'll see what topic interests us the most and we might do a you know full length podcast on just that topic later on. Uh so starting with the first topic why studio mics are not great for podcasting. Uh so I've had a studio mic before uh but Arvind gifted me this really cool mic you can see it's the same one that Arvind has. Uh and it's amazing how it works right Arvind what what yeah, do you say so, yeah it is amazing because this is called a dynamic mic and the studio mics we have are the condenser mics which try to pick up everything that is happening around but the thing with dynamic mics is that it only picks what is in front of it so if i turn like this and talk you would like hear very low sound and mm. now it is better right so that is the thing with uh, these dynamic mics and these also minimize a lot of environmental noises like birds chirping or traffic in the horns that's very minimized like i, I won't say it is zero but it is as less as possible it but is with as the condenser close to mics, zero yeah. yeah with the condenser mics are uh, they do pick up a lot of things if you listen to a pa- our past episodes you see a lot of birds chirping uh horns in the background traffic and uh, and all all those things but with these uh, it is just voice and also we would sweat a lot during uh, podcasting using our condenser mics because we couldn't turn on the my uh, the fans uh and it's so hot here right now so but we can still turn on the fan and you as the audience you cannot hear these sounds at the same time we can just you know sit in comfort not worry about any sound coming from outside and just talk so it it's it's a blessing to have this mic really and uh, i think of things like you know studio mics are great for the studio the condenser mics that we have uh, but uh, they're not good for you know everyday use so we have to understand the context initially i did not i thought it it is good for singing uh this mic it can only catch a range of voice where that mic can catch a lot you know all the details of a singer's voice uh but during podcasting you don't need you know the depths of someone's voice it's if you if you can hear someone good in good quality i think that is enough but for singing it is different uh but then again i think now you know for singing if i use that i don't have a soundproof room to record so even in that case this mic wins which mic is good for recording instruments like guitar or ukulele that you have dynamic mic a- anything uh that produces a lot of sound say you know even for recording drums you need dynamic mics no one this uses one? condens yeah this one this okay. one works uh, well for drums guitars or any instrument whereas condenser is great to capture a singer's voice in a good environment uh, environmentally treated studio yes yes and somehow home studios don't cut it we have you know like brick concrete walls and uh, they really reflect the sound and it's not really great uh for yeah so what i am guessing is condenser mics they record a lot of sound right so they record the depth of a sound so uh it would be better for instruments or i mean for ukulele no no in, you get uh, a lot of the sound the human right? voice uh. has a lot of range okay. uh whereas okay. instruments they have so if i am playing a string it just has that much there isn't a crazy amount of variation also condenser mics can't take that that much sound the loudness uh say of a drum uh so even there uh they are not good well suited Th- there's something called ribbon microphones and i have no clue what they are uh but it sounds interesting when i think of oh ribbon microphone okay so yeah lots of options but for anyone starting out uh, samson has the best mic for podcasting no doubt yeah so this also like reduces a lot of keyboard noise i have a mechanical keyboard which is very noisy but uh it's very hard to hear it in the background do you hear it very slight sound very slight yeah. sound before so, it was like I'm, very prominent yeah with that con- condenser mic it was very prominent mm-hmm. now it is very less and i think if the mic if the keyboard is opposite to the mic then it will capture uh, 
lesser than this now it is like adjacent and even for to it. people reading audiobooks if you if you come close to the mic and talk like a podcaster so this sounds kind of deeper the closer you come to the mic but yeah we are okay Absolutely. like standing far <laughs> so i'm i'm reading uh, like not reading i'm listening to the sapiens audiobook for the second time and i love the narrator's voice and i'm sure he's using this mic and you know like this is sapiens you know so, uh, what so I, i think that that's what he's doing sure SM7B, which is like a industry grade microphone to record voice like this, and it happened that Michael Jackson recorded Thriller song on that mic. So that's awesome. the mic. Awesome. That... that sounds cool. <laughs> Not cool. Yeah. It's Thriller. <laughs> It's Thriller. Be thrilled. What is Thriller? We sound like horror man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh <laughs> so yeah that is also <laughs> a dynamic you, mic yeah. um which is like a costlier version way way costlier than this mic is uh, and that needs it, that doesn't directly hook up onto your computer's usb you need a audio interface for it but the good thing with this is this has xlr and usb which means in in future if you want to upgrade we can like buy a audio interface and then connect both the mics to it and record at once when we are doing like local episodes or in person episodes hmm what i read online is that uh, this mic yeah, gives ahead. better quality with uh, audio interfaces because this is a cheap mic right it's cheaper compared to other mics so the usb setup in this uh, mic which converts the which gives a usb output is a cheaper one and if you use the xlr version with a good audio interface the quality is even better is what i read but we'll have to test out that uh, theory hmm i think for podcasting it, this is good enough man i mean i i find no complaints uh with this mic and the thing about creativity is that the less the friction the easier it is to just hop on like right now we are not worried about the setup at all and we are just you know everything set we just come and we talk i think even for live setups we might have to worry uh because initially when you would come over here i had this table and you could move it oh sorry uh you could move it around now i have it uh i turned it into a standing desk by putting it on top of four dustbins uh so it's not really movable so and we'll need to worry about the setup <laughs> so yeah uh my girlfriend was worried that it would just fall and you know my mac would fall my ipad eh, all the tech stuff i have on my table would fall and you know get destroyed but uh, it did not happen so i'm quite happy that this jugard is working so yeah cool. we'll need to uh, worry about the setup but i think if we are in a cafe or something then uh, it it will be okay maybe yeah and i also don't want to worry about the uh, video quality because it's just us and you know we are not sh- showing any cinematic shots or something so it's it's really okay as long as people can see two humans conversing and this tool is great this is called zencaster uh, the tool that we are recording in so what this is doing is ideally recording things on our machines not in the cloud and then it is backing up uh, things to the cloud after uh, the recording gets finished so even if there are uh, there are internet glitches in between we don't uh, face any because it is getting recorded on the machine and then getting uploaded onto the cloud so that is a cool thing because uh, we faced this last time when we used zoom to record the podcast there was a lag uh, for mm. for the video and the audio and it was the quality also was very bad so in this tool you can choose which quality mm. you want to export for the audio and the video as well and i think the default one is 720p for the free plan that we are in which is good enough okay mm-hmm. 720p works yeah and uh yesterday it, it was a mess right uh my computer restarted and uh we were so worried that will it work will it not work is the video there but 
even if your system crashes, you you don't have to worry because you know your video is safe in the cloud, and uh, that was I don't know how it magically backed up us. to the cloud because I was worried uh, that the recording is local and it crashed. Right. Hmm. So it magically synced to the cloud. I don't know what happened, but we got so our video. So there's this new drone, right? Uh, DJI FPV, uh, yeah. I think. Uh, so in that drone, it, it's very interesting. I watched the MKBHD review yesterday. So what he said is basically if you crash the drone in the water and you can't recover it, even then you have the video saved because it's in the headset, in the memory card there too. So you can take the risk of, uh, you know, just crashing it in a mountain and, you know, being able to capture that shot as long as the, the stream is being recorded. I think it's the same with Zencaster where it is recording, like, since you're seeing each other, it is through the cloud and that's where mm, it is continuously being saved. Yeah. Cool. Um... So we are transitioning slowly into tools for podcasting. We don't even feel the need of uh, talking about another topic, right? So guys, change in plans. We are talking just about podcasting and how you can just get started. So I'll, I'll share a cool tip. Uh, you see, this is my phone. And uh, what happens... If you are listening to the audio, Windows please the... check out the video version as well. Yeah, do check out the video. I'll try to be more descriptive uh, while I talk about it. So my windows on the right and only the right part of my face is illuminated and uh, the left is not. Uh, so I just have a phone and I put a white tape, white translucent tape on it and I just kept it on my Mac. And now the both sides of my face are lit. Uh, so I think that that's a good tip if you don't have one of those uh, circle ring, ring lamp, ring lights. Yeah. So if you don't have that, you can just use your flash. Or else the, get a tube light. Uh, the white on top tape of acts it. as a diffuser. Yeah, tube light is great, man. Your your face is so well lit. My tube light is also on the right, mm. so nothing on my face. So I'm just using my phone's flash. Cool. So you you stuck a tape on it to not to make it soft light, is it? Yeah, to, to make it softer and I'll just try uh, removing it. So this is the tape and I'll... So this, you see, this is so harsh on on yeah. the camera. And if I put this, so it, it's kind of softer. It, it's diffused and yeah. you, you see the rays. Mm. It's kind of soft. And yeah, nice. diffused. Yeah. Cool. So that is your tip for recording videos and then for recording audios. One, one thing nothing. I would like to add here is you might not have all the setup. You might not have everything perfect. Like when we started, we did not like, I remember you just recorded on normal mic, right? Uh, so not even a condenser or a dynamic, but we started and that's the, and we are still going on because we started the day we had the inspiration. And uh, that's what I would suggest anyone who's looking to get started into podcasting is find a buddy whom you talk to and uh, just get started irrespective of uh, the equipment you have even if you have a phone or tablet just just get started and it's just fun talking so yeah and you don't you don't even have to worry about uh, the distribution because this app called Anchor takes care of everything you just have to sign in using google or something you don't even have to type a password and it takes mm -hmm. care of basically distributing your podcast to all the platforms like Apple Music, Google Podcasts, and all the platforms that people listen in. So it's it's really cool mm -hmm. and really simple to get started these days. Mm -hmm. And and the good thing about having a podcast is uh, you have this free ticket to interview whoever you want. I mean, they might say no, but uh, you can ask, right? Otherwise, how would you ask, like, hey, I just want to talk to you on the phone? Not fun. Everyone wants to be heard. And if you have a podcasting channel, you can just ask, hey, would you like to be on my podcast? And I'm sure many of the cool people, they haven't been on a podcast. We have just, we might have heard about 50 to 100 people 
or 100 guests on different podcasts we listen to, but not more than that, right? So 99.9999999% of the people haven't been on the podcast and I'm sure 10% of the people are super cool and we want to talk to them. And this is a great excuse to yeah. just talk to whoever you want. So a really fun thing happened when I was on a trip to Manali. I have this sticker of Learning Curve podcast on my laptop. So a guy came and approached me, do you have a podcast? And he happens to work in this field of audio. Uh, mm-hmm. So we ended up recording another an episode on the future of audio. So yeah, podcasting is your ticket to conversations with cool people. Yeah. And and the same thing I felt for startups when I had a startup, it, it was just like when we had a startup, Arvind, uh, it felt like uh, a free ticket uh, to just talk to whoever. We could just interview anybody we wanted and, uh, you know, get UX feedback on things. And, and that's, I think, when when we do something, that's when we get the license to uh, ask for people's time, which is very precious. And people are really happy to share it because they feel involved in something. And the same goes for podcasting. I would like to, you know, share like how happy we are to record and uh, how we started, uh, how we had the first conversation in IKEA and uh, uh, that turned into a podcast. So I think the first step is like, just ask a friend whom you talk often to like, would you like to start a podcast? And Arvind, what, what I strongly feel is if we weren't doing this podcast, we wouldn't have been so connected. Uh, yeah, because we wouldn't have been in we, touch. Yeah. Yeah. And I feel like for me, it is difficult to be in touch with people who I don't share a place with, like say an office or, uh, you know, city or something. And uh, because of the pandemic, you're not in Hyderabad. And we are not meeting up. So I, I think the podcast is something that still keeps us uh, conversing. And uh, the insights that we get, like yesterday, you told me about the Apple shortcuts thing. And, you know, you kind of helped me. Uh, you told me basically I could update my iOS and it would run automatically. So I checked that and now that works. And uh, similarly, I think uh, we spoke about your uh new site project and i just said yeah. you know dude you could just post an ad and many ideas are out there but when people talk you don't like even need to ask for anything and somehow like some idea will strike and uh, uh it, it really helps i think and i was thinking yesterday that i need more friends whom like like you erwin uh who can just help me solve my problems magically <laughs> and uh, that that's so important because I don't even have to think like this is a problem I'm just having a conversation not asking for solutions on stack overflow but still like life's getting better so I think uh, even you went to that uh, the what do you call that startup hostel or what was the place in Manali it's called alt life where it's it's alt a co-working play, co-living place place i'd say and uh, that time when i went a lot of uh, developers were there i could see a lot of stickers hmm. on laptops and this full-on nice. full stack developer vibe going on <laughs> and we, we were talking to people you we were uh, asking them where should we go on weekends and hmm. we were talking i was talking to future guests on the podcast i have one more person lined up uh, who is the awesome. founder of this uh, site called Icon Scout? So yeah, cool. it, it was it was really cool. So as you say, as you said, the interacting is like really important for the jobs that we do because everyone has ideas, and when exchanged, they form a good remix. And you try to fi- you tend to find solutions for a lot of things that you might not have thought of normally. Hmm. I was reading in Sapiens or listening to Sapiens uh, that initially the hunter-gatherer phase and when people were, you know, living in the wild, early humans, uh, they were very smart and they had a lot of knowledge compared to present-day humans, which is shocking, right? Uh, They were more in tune with their nature and they knew how to, you know, make, uh, you know, stone weapons and stuff and they could do it in minutes what would take us hours today 
but what helps us as homo sapiens is that the knowledge is not in one person but it's in the collective so you know just doing something solo is the stupidest decision most of the times uh, especially when you're tackling big challenges but when you involve the community when you you know utilize the knowledge that's out there in all these wonderful people around us that's when we make breakthroughs so it's called the collective knowledge or knowledge uh, from the community or knowledge that is present within mm-hmm. the community so yeah i'm yeah, part like of this group of on knowledge. slack called remote mm-hmm. indian where all the i mean it's a group of all the remote workers from india so that group people keep uh, messaging stuff like how how do you guys deal with taxes in india and all the all the stuff that remote workers had all the problems that remote workers have for example a good chair which table do you guys use how does your setup look like well, i i'm planning to stay in manali for a week which places do you guys recommend and stuff so it's it's it's, it's really good to be part of such groups mm-hmm. where you get to hang out with people of common interests and then you learn a lot from them and also you share what you have learned uh, until date so yeah it's a good thing Hmm. and podcasts are a great uh, outlet uh, to share i remember when we were talking initially it was like we are consuming so much knowledge uh, we read newsletters we le- read lots of blogs and documentation and what not uh, but we don't really have an outlet to share uh, what we are learning and only when we share do we like synthesize that knowledge and that i think takes shape so podcasting is is a great great outlet to synthesize knowledge and uh, be smart uh, about the topics and the information that we consume so yes if if anyone wants to be a guest on our podcast please hit us up hello uh, let's talk about cool stuff yeah let, let let's have a conversation so yeah so this uh, i think this podcast was kind of our podcasting journey plus are uh, the things we learned along the way and how anyone can start a podcast and it's it's a learning experience uh every 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 time we you know talk it's it's just really nice uh to talk about common interests and even find the different ideas in our mind and uh you know uh connect the dots so yeah that's about it right or something yeah, that's else. about it Cool. Okay, thank you guys. Thank you for listening to this podcast. And if you like the episode, please let us know on Twitter and consider writing a review on Apple Podcasts because I think I don't think you can write YouTube a review. And we are also on YouTube if you want to see us. Yeah, you can click comment if you are watching this on the YouTube. And mm. I I don't think you can write a review anywhere other than Apple Podcasts, right? No other uh, podcasting yeah, app has Yeah, you can write comments. A... I think no other yeah, yeah. no no review options so if you have an apple hey, phone or an we, ipad uh, before we sign off uh, i would like to quickly uh, you know list the setup that we have uh, starting with our macbook webcam which is recording the video a uh, phone which is acting as a flash a uh, samsung uh, samsung uh, dynamic microphone and uh, and earbuds uh, bluetooth earbuds so that you know no headphones are there so uh, oh you have headphones which are also super cool uh, but yeah that's about it yeah i have pretty much the same thing uh, same macbook macbook pro 13 inch and the same mic samsung q2u and a pair of sony headphones and, and you have a really it? nice bright tube light which is lighting yeah, up bright well tube light. it's called philips tube light <laughs> hey even i have up. a philips is it I'm like that slim line next <laughs> oh okay i don't know <laughs> i actually have a philips <laughs> tube light so. cool and and i have a cool <laughs> green wall <laughs> yeah yeah which looks like a green screen but screen. there are there's really nice uh artwork on the right i think it's a bird or something yeah it's a, cool. it's kind of a leaf a bird and stuff bird on philips cool. okay 
awesome awesome uh, talking about the podcast arun we had more topics in mind but i think one topic has so much uh, info that i don't think this is what can, happens uh, when you, you talk know, do about all. interesting stuff yeah so initially we thought we, we would should cover do, you know yeah. each topic uh, i mean if you if you if you're on twitter brithik tweeted uh, a list of uh, topic ideas episode ideas and we thought uh, all the ideas are uh, short conversable ideas so we thought we would cover everything in this episode but it ended up being podcast being about podcasting the complete episode which is kind of cool Uh, that's what happens when you talk about i think what we can stuff. do from next time is we can have the list and we can start talking whichever topic we don't get a hell yeah feeling while talking we stop we switch to the next topic and then that becomes the episode that's something yeah. we can try out yeah cool see you guys again cool. thank you for listening and day. have a nice yeah. uh, day yeah or night bye see ya on the evening yeah <laughs>